Welcome to the world of behavioural linguistics. Behavioural linguistics is a multidisciplinary approach to how we communicate. It's made up of behavioural science, psychology and language. It is the art of nudging using communication. So, what is a nudge? This is when you encourage someone gently towards doing something where they have freedom of choice, but still make the decision you want them to anyway. To count as a nudge, the intervention must be easy and cheap to do. Nudges aren't mandates. For example, putting fruit at eye level is a nudge. Banning it is not. We are living in an increasingly noisy world where from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we are bombarded with messages and decisions. We make a lot of decisions every day. In fact, research shows that we make around 40,000. And we do this by using two systems. System one is the automatic system. And system two is our reflective system. Let's have a look at our system one, the automatic system. These decisions are quick and instinctive. For example, when walking, the decision to put one foot in front of the other is made using our automatic system. System two is the reflective system. These decisions are slow and deliberate. They need us to stop and think. For example, when deciding what food to order for lunch, we use our reflective system. But how do we make these decisions? We use rules of thumb, which are called heuristics. This helps us to structure information in ways that we're used to and that are easy for us to process. We rely on 188 of these mental shortcuts. There are a lot, from anchoring to loss aversion to the optimism bias. They all help us to make everyday decisions. Let's look at one of the most common as an example, present bias. If we said that you could have a copy today or wait to get a much larger future reward, such as a grocery voucher, what would you choose? The grocery voucher? This would make sense. It has a higher value and is worth more in the long term. But most of us would choose the coffee voucher because it is an instant reward. Present bias is one of the main reasons why many of us don't save enough for the future, don't eat healthily enough, and don't get enough exercise, because short-term rewards mean more to us. So, how does this link to language? We're not interested in the future, so we need to frame messages in the present tense for them to be more compelling or nudgy. This insight is one of hundreds in the Behavioural Linguistics Toolkit. It helps with how we design and communicate products and services as brands, public policies as governments, and even donations as charities. We use the three C's approach, content, contact, and context. When we look at content, this is the type of nudge used based on what rule of thumb you are trying to play into. Contact. Who is the audience for your communication nudge? How are you segmenting and personalizing your message to this group of people? Context. This can mean anything from the time of day you plan to communicate to the month or season that has some meaning to your communication. Behavioural linguistics is a cost-effective tool that anyone can learn and everyone can use. Thank you.